Hi Capricorn, I am the Awakened Dreamer and I'm here to give you a tarot reading for the month of July, okay? So let's start off your reading by pulling a few Souls Journey cards. A few messages, please, to start out the reading for the month of July for Capricorn, please. Okay, there's two. One or two more for Capricorn, please, for the month of July. Month of July for Capricorn. Oh, okay. All right, so the first two that came out, we got... Oh, we only got three. We got Surrender. I can release my need to control. I need this reminder. And then indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. And then we have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. All right, so there's clearly a situation in the upcoming month that you are going to need to try to release a little bit of control, admit some mistakes, and make a decision. To, honestly, it doesn't sound like too much fun, but could be. Uh, let's continue and pull, do a six card tarot spread for, just to give you a little bit of outlook of what to expect. A little bit of shuffling real quick. Alrighty. Six cards, please, for the upcoming month of July for Capricorn, please. being told to shuffle for the next three. The last three for Capricorn, please. Oh. How interesting. And the same card comes out that I had just pulled. <laughs> and why would I have to shuffle? But anyways, uh, so let's see. The first card we have is the Four of Swords. So here I'm seeing that you are going to be doing a lot of relaxing, a lot of rejuvenating in the upcoming month. There's nothing wrong with that. I feel like a lot of you have been working really hard or have been, you know, stressed about certain situations in your life or in the upcoming future. And you know what? Take some time. Relax. Okay? Take a nap. And then we have the Eight of Swords. So here I'm seeing you're feeling very tied down, very restricted by a certain situation. It could be a relationship, it could be a job, it could be uh, simply just your, your thought process that's potentially holding you back from going after your dreams, from you know achieving what you want in life. But nonetheless, the next card you have is the King of Wands, which is basically showing your strength, okay? I mean, we have the lion in the back. You know, one of my favorite things about this card is the crown on his stick that almost looks like fire. <clears throat> so basically there's a message that you need to put that crown on, okay? It has no use on that stick, all right? And then moving on, we have the moon. So there is gonna, there is a, a feeling of bit of anxiety, you know, lack of sleep. Feeling very torn. Maybe about this restricting situation, maybe. 
whether or not to let it go, whether or not it's still serving you. And if you aren't asking yourself those questions, maybe you should be. And moving on, we have the tower for your fifth card. And basically here, something's going to come to an end. The universe is coming in and, and making it very clear that this needs to be wiped out of your life in order to redirect you onto the path that you were meant to go down. Okay. Now this could simply just could be something as major as a relationship or a job or a living situation, you know, something of the sort. But it also could be something as minor as a thought process. Like I said, you know, thoughts that are holding you back. All right. Maybe it's at this point you have a realization, a, a clicking moment where it's like, you know what? I need to change the way I think in order to get what I want out of life. And then the last uh, card, the sixth one, we have the fifth, five of wands, excuse me. So here I see you're going to be fighting for something. Okay. There's something worth fighting for. And for, for those of you I'm getting now who this pertains to a relationship that might be a little rocky where you feel somewhat restricted. The universe is trying to, to put an end to it for a reason, okay? And you're willing to keep fighting for it. And maybe it is worth fighting for, but you have to sometimes take a step back in order to see more clearly, see the, the big picture. Okay, so let's pull one last uh, energy oracle card to finish off your reading. One last piece uh, of advice or one last message for Capricorn for the month of July, please. Okay, you got two. Very interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the first one we have is Storm Warning. Not the most positive card. And then we have the Appreciation card. So I'm getting the feeling that this storm warning card definitely relates back to the tower card, okay? In the sense that this tower moment might bring a little bit of abrupt, uh, extra, you know, some abrupt additives into your life, if you know what I mean. Like that wasn't clear. What I'm trying to say is I feel like it's gonna bring some some stormy some stormy weather into your life. Okay. But there is a, another message coming through that you you're going to have a new appreciation for the simple things in life. Okay? A new appreciation for those people who are always there for you. Okay. And if not, there's a, a message coming through that you need to begin this step of becoming more appreciative. Okay. So on that note, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you have a great month, Capricorn. I'll see you next time.